Okay guys, it's Tibbs here, Purple Nubi Juice. The construction and design of this piece, the weight, the distance between, everything structurally is not, it's not, I, I just don't want to have to deal with putting it together. Tibbs, Purple Nubi Juice. This is going to be my next project here. Um, I already started it and uh, I wanted to just go over a little bit with you. I, I lost the footage from the first take, but basically what happened was, and you might have, I might have shown this in another video, but um, this inside piece to uh, what makes up this cabinet, along with the same thing here up top was this whole this whole front end was sagging down and um you could see the nails in both places where it was sagging down so basically what i did was i glued it on both both spots and then clamped it so that this pulled up and um now this bottom drawer will actually fit all the way. Okay, guys. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, that it was sagging for such a long time. Okay, I took the clamps off, and you can see now both spots, you know, are attached all the way down on that board. This this piece is missing a board, but that wouldn't help our situation because this was sagging down so long that once I took the clamps off, you can see over here there's a space. Over here there's a space and it's still, still we can't get the drawer in there. Okay guys, I came up with an idea. Now I put two clamps on here to concentrate the pressure on this board here in the middle in two different spots. So it's pulling it up. I went to the six inch spacing and then went a little bit more. Now by doing, before I went a little bit more, the doors actually opened up beautifully. So that cured that problem. So basically our attempt here is to bend this wood. I have this tray here so it can trap the water. Now typically when you wanna bend, and I'm no expert, but when you wanna bend wood, to make like a toboggan or a, or a fancy piece of furniture or something you have to I believe soak the wood and then uh, and then steam it I didn't want to make a huge mess or cause any other issues so what I did was I'm putting this tray here and I'm boiling some water I'm gonna stick the kettle under there of the boiling water and hopefully the steam traps gets trapped here and we'll penetrate the wood and steam it and actually cause that that to to come up okay guys uh it seems to be working pretty good the steam actually was dripping down after it uh cooled down uh and it started dripping off the tray and hitting the bottom so we added this uh sheet down here so that it won't affect the, the bottom wood and i also increased the tension on the clamps a lot not a lot more but some more to, to put a little bit more of a bow in there so that when i do release it and it dries and everything it'll uh it'll you know overcorrect, and then as i release the pressure you know it'll come down so hopefully we get the right mixture of pressure water steam and all that to uh, be able to get this to work out and uh we'll show you the results when we're done i keep uh, exchanging the water um, in different kettles so that we have consistent um, steam coming off um, like I said this is only experimental and hopefully it works okay guys I took the clamps off 
of the piece to see how we made out trying to uh, steam this um, this part of it to get it to bend up and if you remember correctly you know we had it it was fine on the corners but this reveal here used to be only an eighth of an inch and now it's closer to a quarter um, I ended up going to an estate sale today so I couldn't keep steaming it and I didn't want to do it all at once in case I went overkill but all we have is maybe another eighth of an inch to go so I think by doing it again and I won't bore you with showing you but uh, I'll get a third maybe even a fourth clamp spread it out more use a um, a bigger dish uh, not dish a um, cake pan underneath there or on, on top I meant I'm sorry to ca capture that steam and um, same thing on the bottom we'll put four clamps on it and get a wider range of it and uh, clamp it up and get that steam under there and I'm confident at this point that it's gonna work so uh, like I said I won't bore you with that but I will show you the results just keep in mind where we're at right now we got a nice only a little bit left to go okay guys it's Tibbs here purple and Luby juice the construction and design of this piece the weight the distance between everything structurally is not it's not I, I just don't want to have to deal with putting it together um so that it stays you know I get this up and it this whole whole piece here is sagging down it's relying on it should have been a solid board going across here so my plan is to remove this bottom drawer the height of it is probably going to be i'm going to cut it off here take this out cut all four legs off at about this distance remove this here i mean the construction you can see that it's all coming apart and it's loose so I'm going to cut it off here, so we're going to take a good 11 inches or so off. Then we're going to cut the sides off. We're going to put a piece in here to support this. Clamp it so everything moves up. This piece should hold it in place, probably this piece here. And uh, we're going to make it a shorter entertainment center type thing, rather than a taller bureau. So that's the plan and uh, I'll keep you updated as our progress goes okay like I showed you before in the front here there was those uh, steel brackets holding this on both both pieces in the front in the back there was 45s of thick inch and a quarter or better rock maple corners and they were nailed in with old nails um, they weren't square nails or anything so but to get those out, that, that kind of construction is very good. And in, uh, what I did was instead of putting a cat's claw in there, paw, uh, anyways, you get it in there and you pull, you, it's very difficult to do that, especially if it's glued. So what you do is you get it in on top of the piece, right in the middle, past where the nails are, and just bang the heck out of this until it breaks the wood and then you can it just makes it so much easier to get the piece out but just to go to show you the strength of this this uh construction look at i mean i hammered the the legs out some both sides so that i can pull this straight out but just look at it so without those pieces being glued and secured good enough it just moves so that's what I was battling through the whole piece of the furniture so once we get this all put together it's going to be structurally a lot stronger and it's not gonna be so bulky and heavy and uh, I think it's gonna look great so we'll get back to you okay guys you can see how we cut this down I cut it down I got that piece to go under here to support that and bring that all up. I got this is all separated and loose down there. You can see how much I cut off of the bottom to the top here. Now the reason why you cut 
this off because you don't want the space you don't want the distance from here to here on, on a floor in case the floor is on level or this isn't perfectly level you will only hit in two spots this in, in the front and in the back and the same thing is going to go for the other side so I got to do that to the other side and uh, I'm going to glue it and clamp it and then I'll bring you back okay guys as you can see it is a lot shorter and this is the pile of scrap this is the uh, amount of height we took off um, it's sad but none of none of it was uh, glued but check this out the um, they use solid oak on these uh, corners but they still laminate it with quarter sawn oak. Uh, I don't think they had to go through that extreme. That's what kind of makes me feel as though it was a um, homemade unit. Um, but this is all loose. It's dadoed out. So I need to separate those on both ends. Get some glue in there. Get a clamp on it. And then this is still concave here. So we are going to put, um, let me get it. We are going to take this piece that was the drawer that we took out. That's going to go under here. And because of the width on this, it's plenty strong enough. We're going to uh, get this to fit. And then we're going to glue it, screw it, and clamp it up. And it should rise the middle of this up here. And it's the drawer doors and the drawers all should fit nicely. We'll, uh, we'll get it sanded down, get rid of all the stains that we can. Um, put it back together again and... Uh, Clean up the hardware and oil it, and it's going to be a beautiful little entertainment center, uh, manageable size, and we'll come back to you when we're at our next level. Okay, guys, so we got this piece put in to support this whole section here. This thickness of the uh, oak should be enough strength to keep it from warping down. Of course, it's less a hold on their drawer now, so uh, should definitely be good. We got the clamps going this way. We reinforced it, gluing th this edge to the, to the bottom and to the wall, and that's glued and screwed. There's one over there glued and screwed. And then down here, we got it glued and screwed here. So we got these clamps pulling it all the way up. These clamps are holding the piece this is attached to to the bottom. Once that sets, we will take the clamps off. We'll reinforce the top a little bit. I noticed it was a little loose up there and uh, we'll get these drawers put back in and see how she looks. Alright, we'll get back to you.